Sunday ride. So today we are taking the fat bike to the Pass Lake Railway Trestle. It's a now decommissioned railway bridge on the outskirts of Thunder Bay. And I'll just have to double check on my information, but uh, I believe it is actually the was the longest railway bridge in Ontario. So that's kind of something to look forward to seeing. I don't know if we'll cross it today. I have crossed it once. I'll give you the link to that video. Yeah, I have crossed it completely once. It's very scary. So I won't be doing it again this time. I will go part way out on it, mainly to get some uh, Instagram photographs, but I won't be crossing it completely. What we will be doing is taking an old abandoned railway line. Most of the way there. Just have to get to where we're going here. Just being careful, I have again. I have high pressure in these tires for lower rolling resistance and we're going to be on the old railway line which is uh, still has a lot of the uh, old railway bedrock so fat tires will help for flotation. And I didn't realize it was so grown in in here but no point turning around now. Looks like this trail does get some regular use. There's where we want to go. Luckily we got through there with only getting a minor soaker. On Google Maps I saw a road well worn in but I think it's an old image Boy, we sure went the wrong way looks like we can get off here too early Tried to get on the railway line there too early. Yeah, we just gotta stay on the road for about five minutes and then we can hop back down to the old railway line. All right, so now we're actually on the old railway line. what we'll be dealing with most of the time, this old railway bed stone. It's not particularly fun to ride on. It's the least distressing to do on a fat bike.
guys. So the mighty Lake Superior. That's the Sleeping Giant Peninsula way out in the distance. So that's a provincial park. And there is a hike you can do that gets to the top of that. And the view this way towards back towards the city is amazing. It's a long hike though. It's like a five hour hike, five hours of walking time. The sad thing is the the first two hours or so in the final well the first hour and the final hour are actually really boring. It's not until you get to the middle that it gets interesting when you start climbing that. Big waves, you can hear the big waves. It's gonna stop and take pictures, but I started too late. It's gonna keep moving, really. I'll take some pictures at the Pass Lake Trestle. Maybe I'll do this ride again next weekend. See if my brother wants to come and uh, make sure we start early enough that we can, I can stop and take some nice pictures. vehicles and stuff can't cross it but on one side you have the mighty lake superior motorized all-terrain vehicles of course not beautiful bicycles and on this side then is the mighty Mackenzie River although it's not looking particularly mighty but this flows from way up north and that is the world's largest lake. I do have to take a leak. Nobody around, don't see anyone. We used to come uh, smelt fishing here. I remember coming here as a kid. I remember the water being a lot lower and uh, oh yeah, you'd just catch smelt by the bucket full. We're off, I think we've got like 15k so we get to the past my trestle very slow 15k
be the final stretch to the Path Lake Railway Trestle. If I call correctly, it is the largest, the longest railway bridge in Ontario. No longer in use, it's been decommissioned. It's still there. Two hours, 16 minutes, we're not there yet. It's gonna be a long ride today. It's gonna be pretty much dark by the time we get back to town. Okay, so here is the Fast Lake Trestle. Longest railway bridge in Ontario, I do believe. And I will verify that information for you. So we will ride it uh, part way so we can get a nice photo. I have ridden all the way across it and scary. There's no protection. And it gets very windy in the middle. So we will just stop here. Grab my phone. Turn it on. Yeah, the battery on this phone sucks, especially when the weather is cooler. It just drains out like crazy, so. Okay, now we're gonna try to lay the bike down and take a photo. Picture didn't work out perfect, but you know what? Too nervous. I'm even nervous being where we are, so turn around oh, and we have to start heading for home. And we need to avoid. Uh, well, there's a the view, anyways. It's worth. Pretty sweet. Oh yeah, so I have crossed this completely and I will leave the link to that video in the info box. Already getting cold. But anyways, I think that'll be probably, this is probably the end of the video. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I make it home in a decent amount of time. And that it's not completely dark. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come out next weekend. I'm going to do the same ride, but it's going to be just to take photographs along the way. Because there's lots of... Uh, possibilities for pretty pictures so thanks for watching see ya oh yeah I forgot to say uh, there'll be a Strava link for this ride in the info box there'll be a link to my uh, 
Instagram account so you can see a couple of the pictures I took. So those check those out please. And thanks again for watching. Bye.